Hello everybody, Hawk here. Are you tired of receiving copyright claims on your music on your YouTube channel? Isn't that annoying? You know, notifications like this. Here's one I got in my email for a song that I produced, which my label owns the copyrights on, a song called Champagne by a group called Multitrack. Uh, and the, uh, the claim is by somebody called Merlin uh, from my distributor, Symphonic Distribution. That is an annoying email, but it's not really anything to worry about because your distributor is doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. They are going out there with this system called Merlin, which is an algorithm for identifying or actually basically crawling the web and looking for your material, your songs uh, that you own that they can do copyright claims on. There's actually a Wikipedia entry here, the Merlin Network. Merlin is a digital rights music licensing partner for independent record labels, distributors, and other music rights holders around the world. Blah, blah, blah. I will leave a um, link for this if you want to read more about that uh, below the video. So your distributor is doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, but you don't necessarily want this happening continually on your own YouTube channel, right? Because that just gets annoying. Uh, well, there's sort of a easy way of getting this fixed. Um, and that's basically to let the distributor know that you would like to whitelist your channel or allow your channel uh, so that you can post your music on your channel and not be getting these notifications all the time. Um, I should be clear here that this is for your entire YouTube channel and not for individual videos. So in other words, you can preemptively uh, clear the copyright claims on your own YouTube channel, but you can't do that on individual videos. And apparently different distributors work differently in how you do this. Let me show you how it's done the right way with Symphonic Distribution. So if I go to the Symphonic Distribution page here, which is, by the way, the distributor that I use for my label, and I'm super happy with them. So Symphonic Distribution here. So here's my login page and I'm gonna go up here to my rights over here and I will go to the YouTube whitelist right here. YouTube whitelist. YouTube whitelist and basically I just enter my information, uh, my label, the artist, the YouTube URL and they will whitelist the channel that I request, the channel that I own on YouTube. Super, super easy. Uh, it works great. I no longer get copyright claims on the videos that I post on my YouTube channels. Fantastic. Be aware that if you're going to do this, you should have a Google AdSense account. A Google AdSense account will allow you to collect the ad revenue from those videos because if I whitelist the channel, then the distributor is no longer collecting the ad revenue for that video on my channel. Uh, as I said, they're still collecting ad revenue if your music is used in some other videos on some other channels, but for your own channel, um, yeah, you should have a Google AdSense account set up in order to collect that ad revenue. Now, I've noticed that different distributors deal with this a little bit differently. For example, if I go over to DistroKids here, under goodies, under helpful when needed, I go to the YouTube allow list and I click on the YouTube allow list and this is a great explanation here. When you opt into YouTube content ID from DistroKid, we automatically detect every video in YouTube that's using your music. Then we claim these videos on your behalf. Then we send the ad revenue to you instead of to whoever uploaded the video to YouTube. That's perfect, right? The problem here, well, it's not really a problem, which is how DistroKid does this, is that under the allowed videos here, um, you actually have to sign up for this. So uh, in order to sign up for it, uh, you have to go back to your release. Then under your release, down on the bottom of your release here, uh, there's the YouTube content ID for this release. Uh, they want $14.95 a year plus 20% of the YouTube ad revenue. Ooh, ouch. Um, <laughs> you, 
yeah okay uh yeah that that that's a little expensive um for something um so i guess what this means is that if you don't sign up for this anybody can use your music on youtube and they won't collect the ad revenue for videos that use your music unless you sign up for this and then they'll collect that ad revenue on the flip side i guess they're not going to send you any copyright claims if you post the music on your channel uh because they're not doing content id on that uh, if you if any of you who are using distrokid have a different um experience let, let me know but uh yeah okay so that's that's distrokid and then over here on cd baby we go to your sync YouTube and licensing here and uh, look at your release and uh, make sure that you opt in for uh, collect YouTube money. So there's the same thing, which is collecting the ad revenue from YouTube. They're doing it on your behalf if you opt into it, but they're not charging you money. They're not charging you a yearly fee like DistroKid is to collect YouTube money. So once you opt into collect YouTube money, if you post your music on your video, then you'll get a copyright claim. And on the page of CD Baby that explains how to appeal the copyright claim, they have this. I am a CD Baby artist and I would like to monetize my own video run my own video free on my YouTube channel, or I was given permission. So you do this when you appeal the copyright claim. The appeal process on the copyright claim, if we go back to my original email here, uh, view details on how to appeal this claim. Uh, and then the claim will be removed. So on that one right there, copyright claim, your dispute has been submitted. Uh, copyright claim content your dispute has been submitted here and then I go back again here and then um, after the appeal goes through which of course it'll go through because it's your channel and it's it's your music uh, then they'll go ahead and release the copyright claim so I don't know if that means just one video and you have to do that for every single video because there doesn't seem to be anywhere on CD Baby that you can actually whitelist it as clearly as you can do on uh, the Symphonic page here. So as I said, Symphonic, YouTube whitelisting for the entire channel is definitely the way to go. And that's very convenient. But different distributors deal with this differently. But the objective here is to get your channel whitelisted. But it's worth noting that this is, I'm talking about your music here. I'm talking about your YouTube channel and your music on your YouTube channel. If you get a copyright claim from another artist on your music claiming that your song on your channel is their music, then you absolutely need to dispute this. For example, here's a really annoying notification I got from Instagram here that says, we've removed your video because this other band says that the music that I posted is their music well it was not their music it was my music so i had to appeal this and instagram cleared it and went ahead and said okay we've received your appeal and reposted the video however this doesn't always work and i see another video here that uh somebody else claimed it was their music well i reached out to this artist Xlid and asked him to uh, watch out for this and make sure not to claim uh, my music as his own. Uh, and he actually got back to me and said, uh, sure, no problem. I'll watch out for it. Uh, he was very nice and pleasant. Uh, I think most artists generally are because Instagram actually didn't get back to me. Even though I appealed this, they didn't get back to me on this one. And, you know, it was my music. So that was really annoying. So you do need to watch out for this on the flip side of things because Merlin is not perfect. Whatever content ID system that Instagram and uh, Facebook, the Meta Corporation is using is really not perfect. 
If they're not responding to you, go ahead and reach out directly to the artist and touch base with them and let them know uh, that you received this notification and that it's actually uh, your music. I mean, nobody, I don't know any other artists out there that want to take credit for a song claiming it's theirs when it's not actually their music. Uh, I think it's bad karma to go ahead and try and claim somebody else's music as your own, right? All right, um, I hope that helps. Uh, whitelisting is what we want to achieve. That is the objective here. If you're receiving copyright claims uh, for your music on your channel, uh, but different distributors go about this differently. So uh, good luck with your distributor. And if you're using symphonic distribution, it's super simple. All right, I hope you found that information valuable. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the little bell button below to receive notifications when a new video comes up. And I look forward to seeing you guys again very soon. Ciao.